Shalom, Yash Allah. I'm going to start by giving all praise, all glory, all honor, all blessing belong to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Yahushai, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us will well and will will well do the Aqua Kodash and salutation to you, Akiam, that's in how we embarrassed doing this work and truth and sincerity to the four corners of the earth and much respect unto the elect and the full elect sons and daughters of Yahshua Allah that step in the way of righteousness in the name of Yahweh, Wah Yahusha Mashiach, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. So this lesson is about our power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai. Okay? Are you gonna forgive Yash Allah? We're gonna forgive all our sins and remember them no more. Fret not Yash Allah, okay? Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha will pardon all our iniquities, all our sins, and remember them no more. Our sins are not gonna be found. Those that the Lord reserved gonna be saved, okay? Those the Lord, those who the Lord have called, the Lord gonna forgive all our sins and all of our iniquities, right? Those that sought after the way of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. And that's why you so called black, Latinos, and American need to repent. And you speckled birds carried throughout the four corners of the earth, repent and come back to the word of Yahweh, why Yahushai Mashiach, and keep it the fifth in a Mashiach Yahushai. Because it was a promise unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that the sins of Yahshallah gonna be gonna be forgotten. They're not gonna forgive our sins, right? And let's get to that. Let's get a couple a few more scriptures to show you that our power, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahusha, gonna forgive our sins, right? Uh, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 20. In those days and in that time, said Yahweh Power, the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for, and there shall be none, and the sins of Judah, and they shall not be found. For I will pardon, pardon them who have reserved. As you can see, the Lord going to pardon those that he have reserved. Okay, the remnant that shall be saved. The Lord going to a those that serve and cry in the midst of Jerusalem. Okay, the Lord going to pardon all our sins. Okay, because we're not going to be partakers of the sins of the wicked out here. We're not going to go hand, we're not going to hold hand with the wicked. Okay. And to the gonna forgive all, forgive all the sins of Yahshua Allah at the end of the day, okay? And that's why we're seeking for the pardon of the pardon of our sins and all our iniquities, right? Let's go to Lamentation um, four and twenty-two. Lamentation four, verse twenty-two. The punishment of thy iniquities accomplished, O daughter of Zion. See, the punishment of thy iniquity will have been punished for all our iniquities and all our sins that we have done against our power, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. When those that the last days that our iniquities and our punishment has been have been uh, have been accomplished and we've been forgiven for it, right? We've been pardoned for all our iniquities. Those that the Lord have called, not everybody. Those that could turn and come back to the to our power, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Those that the Lord have called, okay? O daughter of Zion, it will not carry thee away into captivity. It will visit thy iniquity. O daughter of Edom, it will discover thy sins, okay? Now, I tell you, forgiving us, till you're gonna punish Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, for all you have done unto Yahshallah and all you have done upon this earth. Because this man have destroyed the earth and trying to destroy Yahshua Allah and all the hidden nation also, right? And the, hey, with our, with the Lord forgiving us, the Lord gonna put all those curses upon Esau, Edom, right? Okay, we're gonna get that scripture at the end, but let's get it at first. Though. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter thirty, uh, verse uh, Deuteronomy chapter thirty, verse one, and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee. The blessing and the curse would have set thee before thee, and thou shalt come them to mind among all the nations, where the Lord thy God have driven, the Lord have driven up us among all the nations, among all the hidden nations. Okay? And, and we're gonna bring it come to pass. Those of us that are gonna re return, we're gonna bring all those things to pass and repent, right? And shall return unto Yahweh thy power. And those that the Lord have reserved gonna return unto our power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha, and shall obey his voice. According to all have thou committed this day, thou and thy children, with all thy heart, with all thy soul, 
that then the Lord, thy power, Yahweh, will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will turn and gather thee from all the nation, where the Lord, thy power, Yahweh, have scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost of heaven, from thence will Yahweh power, thy power guarded thee, and from thence will he fetch thee, and Yahweh of thy power will bring thee unto the land with thy fathers possess, and thou shalt possess it. It will be do it will do thee good and multiply thee above all thy father, and Yahweh thy power will circumcise thy heart and the heart of thy seed to love Yahweh thy power. The Lord gonna put it in, in us to love him, right? With all our heart, with all thy soul, that thou mayest live, and Yahweh power will put all those curses upon all upon thy enemies, and upon them and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. See, the Lord is gonna gonna put all those curses. The Lord is not gonna forgive those nations. The Lord, eh, 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 the repentance is for Israel. Okay, and that's the still gonna give repentance. Those that come back, those that the Lord put that spirit on them to return unto Him, right? Those that the Lord reserve, those are the ones that the Lord gonna forgive if, and, and brother all our iniquities, man, and remember them no more. And those shall return and obey the voice of Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai and do all his commandments which are commanded thee this day. And to Lord thy God will make thee plentiful in every work of thine hand and in the fruits of thy bodies and the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land for good. For Yahweh will again rejoice over thee for good and rejoice over thy fathers. If thou shall hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which are written in, the, in his book of the law, and thou Turn unto the Lord thy power with all thy soul and all thy heart, for this commandment which I commanded thee this day is not hiding from thee, neither is it that is it far off. See, it is not in heaven that thou shouldest say, Who shall go up for us to heaven and bring it unto us, that you may hear and do it? Neither it is beyond the sea that shouldest say, Who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us, that you may hear and do it? But the word is very nigh unto thee. In thy mouth and in thy heart, that thou mayest do it. You see, we're gonna do those things in the light of days when the Lord forgive us and bring us into our land. We're gonna do all this commandment of your help, our by Hashem and our child, because He's gonna forgive us. And now, when still Lord forgive us and bring us in our own land, all those curses are gonna be on all those nations, pay by coming, right? And let's go to Isaiah. Forty-three and twenty-five. Isaiah chapter forty-three, verse forty-five. I, even I, am he that brought out thy transgression for my own sake. The Lord's not gonna do this for 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 our own sake, okay? For His own sake, and will not remember thy sins. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare though that thou mayest be justified, okay? See. We're gonna to have to come back to the Lord, okay? Put this, put me in remembrance. We have to put the Lord in remembrance in the land of our captivity. Let us pray together, okay? Let's speak to, to Yahweh power by Hashem Yahshua. Cry unto Him, right? And the Lord gonna return unto us, right? Declare though that the mayors be justified. When you're in distress, call upon the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahshua and plead with your power. That, that first, Father, I have sinned and that teachers have transgressed against me. Therefore, I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary and I have given Jacob to the curse. And Israel to reproach. The Lord, it's the Lord that give us to the curse. It's the Lord, it's Yahweh power by Hashem Yahshua that give Israel to reproach, right? That's why we've been reproached in the land of captivity. That, that's why we call all kind of names. Because uh, uh, the Lord, uh, the Lord having forgiven us totally, but coming in the latter days, Yahweh power by Hashem Yahshua gonna remember uh, 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 our iniquities and, and gonna forgive us, right? Those that come back, those they preserve again, those that come back unto our power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahshua, those. You have called the remnant that shall be saved. That's the one that the Lord gonna blot out all his iniquities, man. Okay, let's go to hey, Isaiah 44 and 22. Isaiah chapter 44, 44, verse 21. Remember this, O Jacob. See. God forgive and redeems, right? Isaiah 44, verse 21. Remember this, O Jacob and Israel, for thou art my servant. I have formed thee, thou art my servant, O Israel. 
thou shalt be forgiving, forgetting of me. Thou shalt not be forgetting of me. I have blot out as a thick cloud thy transgression, and as a cloud thy sins written unto me, for I have redeemed thee. You see, the Lord have redeemed us. What do you mean to redeem us? Okay? Let's see. Let's go to the word redeem. To redeem is God. To redeem, act as kinsmen, redeem, and avenge, revenge, when some through the part of a kinsman, to act as kinsmen, do the parts of next of kin, acts a kinsman, redeem, bearing blood is with widow to beg it, a child for him, to redeem from slavery, to redeem land, to exact vengeance. Okay, to redeem us from slavery, from the land of our captivity, and to, and to exact vengeance upon the hidden, upon all the nation that hate us, man. By payment to redeem, to just like gonna save by payment, to not gonna pay anybody. But the only thing they are gonna pay them is vengeance, okay? So to redeem with the Mosai as chapter and individual from death, Israel from Egyptian bondage, Israel from exile. To look gonna redeem us and, and blot our iniquities from Israel exile, man, to redeem oneself, to be redeemed. And who's gonna be with the redeemer that you are gonna send unto us? Yahushai is only begotten son, who to all ignorant called Jesus Christ, okay? Because okay, all power is given unto him to forgive our sins. Okay, let's go to Colossians. To Colossians. Uh, two and thirteen to fifteen. Colossians two verse thirteen. And you being dead in your sins and the consecration of your flesh, have he quickened together with him, having forgiven all your trespasses. Blowing out the hand writing of thinness that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphant over them in it. See, we're gonna tri triumph in the latter days, those that the Lord have called, those that to, have to return unto Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai, and acknowledge, and acknowledge his name and his power. Okay. Those that the Lord gonna 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 forgive him our sins. That's who the Lord gonna save. That's who the Lord gonna redeem. Okay, and that's why we, we hope for. That's why we call the hopeful elect. Okay, we hope that our power Yahweh by Hashem shall forgive our sins and blot all our iniquities and all our trespasses, man. So we're hoping for the salvation to be redeemed. Okay, let's go to Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah 34, Jeremiah 31, verse 34, And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, and every one his brother, saying, Know Yahweh, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, said Yahweh power, for I'll forgive their iniquity. I will remember their sins no more. Thus said Yahweh power. That's when we're in the kingdom that the Lord is going to forgive us. Those that the Lord have saved, okay? Thus said Yahweh power, who give the sun for a light by day, and the ordinance of the moon and of the stars for light by night, which divided the sea when they wave thereof. Woe, Yahweh of hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, said Yahweh power, then the seed of Israel shall cease from being a nation before me forever. Thus said Yahweh power, if heaven above can be measured and the foundation of the earth to a child beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, said Yahweh power. Okay? Yahweh power is making promise out here. The Lord said, if those promises are going to forgive us and brought out all our iniquities, that's exactly what the Lord is going to do. And the Lord is, is making, uh, is, is giving uh, things. If all those things can come to pass, the Lord is going to cast us out. But or not none of those things. Now all those things, hey, the, the moon and the sea gonna be there. The, the heavens cannot be measured. The function of the earth cannot be searched out, okay? Be, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that the city shall be built to the Lord, to Yahweh power from the tower of Hannah Hill unto the gates of the corner. Okay? Hey, the city gonna be built on those times. When to forgive us, bring us unto our own land, bring unto the, the word of the covenant, hey. Our city can be built, and all the nations on the earth, all those nations, 
et, et that's the else against the haters those still are still are preserved et, 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 to, to be there to be there et, they're all gonna serve us and they're gonna build our kingdom for us man they're gonna build our home man okay and let's go to hebrews uh go to hebrews 10 Hebrews chapter 10 verse 14 for by one offering ye have perfected forever them that are sanctified you see them that are sanctified there's a good a part of the elect Israel is the elect of the most high but it's the elect of the elect of Yahshua Allah those that are sanctified right let's look at the word sanctified out here by grace you right to win their or acknowledge or to be venerable or alone right To separate from profane things and dedicate it to God, those that uh, dedicate dedicate their life to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, consecrate things to God, dedicate people to God, okay, to purify, to cleanse externally, to purify by expiation, free from the guilt of sin, to purify externally by renewing of the soul. Hey, the Lord hey, got a, got a group of men, seven thousand men. I mean, like a complete number of of the remnant of the remnant of Israel that shall be saved, right? That the Lord going to be sanctified, whereof the Holy Spirit also is a witness to us. For after that, you have said before, this is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, said Yahweh Power. I will put my laws into their hearts and in their mind will I write them, and their sin and iniquity will I will remember no more. Now, where we mention of this is there is none, there is no more offering for sins, okay? Yahweh, there was there will be with no sacrifice for sins for Yahshua Allah, okay? Because that once when, when you are saved, you're not gonna be offering for sins. Because the Lord Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai gonna put His laws in our inward part and our law and all our sins gonna be forgiven, and we're not gonna sin against against Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai no more, okay? Let's go to First John. One and nine. First John chapter one, verse nine. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Okay, in the, in the day days that we are in right now, we have to confess our sins. We have to acknowledge that we have sinned against our power Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, and hope that He forgive all our sins. He is faithful. The Most High is a faithful power. Okay. If we if if we confess our sins with all our heart, with all our soul, and and, and be sorry, hey, the Lord will forgive our sins. Do have to for you have to have a contrived heart, okay, and to cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. The Lord gonna clean us from all our righteousness. We have to acknowledge that we sin against the Most High, okay, and that's when the Most High gonna forgive our sins and bring us in into our own land and put His law in, in into our inward part and give us a a heart of flesh. Okay, so we don't stand against him no more, right? Let's go to Psalm. Okay, let's go to Psalm first. Psalm 50, I think 51. I think 17. Yeah, hey, hey, Psalm 51, verse 16. For do desires, not sacrifice, also will I give it. Do delights not, And burnt offering, the sacrifice of the Messiah, a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, that will not despise. Do good unto thy pleasure unto Zion, build all the walls of Jerusalem. Then thou shalt be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with burnt offering, and will burn offering, then show the offer bullocks unto thy altar. Hey, hey, there's gonna be burnt offering in the kingdom, but not for sins, because Yahweh Shai is is a Yahweh Shai. Amashiach is our uh, is our sacrifice to forgive the sins of Yahshua Allah, and when, once the Lord put uh, uh, put uh, the law statutes and commandments into our inward part, because like remember the sacrifice of bullocks and all other things, it's not just for sins; it's for other things, right? In the holy in the days and uh, in the feast days, that we have to make sacrifice. Okay, there's all kind of sacrifice. Uh, 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 For all these things, which is not sense, okay. At the end of the day, 
Yahweh our power by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Going to forgive us for all our sins. But we have uh, to ask for that. We have to confess our sins uh, at the end of the day. Let me go to some. Uh, I think some 33. Uh, Psalm chapter 32 verse 1 That's the Psalm of David my shield, right? Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven Whose sin is covered Blessed the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity And whose spirit there is no guile See There's men up on the earth that the Lord is not, is not, is not, That the Lord whom the Lord imputed not iniquity They're not going to impute iniquity upon us And whose spirit there is no guile when I kept silence, my bones waxed old to my ruin all the day long. All the day long. You see, it those that are going to forgive is those men and, and women that are going to keep silence, that are going to call upon the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that are going to rebuke and reprove all those wickedness that's been done upon this earth, that are going to stand up for the Most High. For the day and night thy hand was heavy upon me, my moisture is turned into the drop of summer, Salah. I acknowledge my sins unto thee. And my iniquity I have, I have not hid. I said I will confess my transgression unto Yahweh, and do forgive us the iniquity of, of my sin. Salah. See, you have to acknowledge that you have sinned against the Most High. It's those that the Lord going to forgive and blot out all the iniquities. Those that acknowledge the sin of the Most High. Those that the Lord have called. Okay, those the Lord have sanctified. That's the one that the, that the Lord have given faith. That the Lord have given the name of Yahweh, why I will shine unto. Okay. For this shall everyone that is godly pray unto thee in the time when the may be found. See, we're in the time that the Lord is being found right now. Because once he shit at the fan, hey, the Lord's not going to be found. Because hey, the Lord going to release all the four angels that's, hey, that's in the four corners of the earth. Hey, things going to hit the fan out here, man. Surely in those floods of good waters, they shall not come nigh unto thee. Though I have mad in place, thou shall preserve me from trouble, thou shall compass me. About with songs of deliverance. That's who the Lord gonna deliver. That's who the Lord gonna bring unto the land of Yashala. Okay. Those that confess their sin, those that acknowledge their sins, okay, unto our power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Those that confess their transgression. That's who the Lord gonna forgive. Okay. Okay. Those that seek after the way of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, man. That's who the Lord gonna forgive. Let's go to Micah. Micah. Seven. Micah chapter seven verse nineteen. It will turn again. It will have compassion upon us. It will subdue our iniquities, and though will cast all their sins into the depth of the sea, though will perform the truth to Jacob, and to the mercy of Abraham. Which do have sworn unto our fathers from the days of old. You see, the Lord have, prom have promised unto our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that they're gonna forgive our sins, okay? That the Lord gonna have mercy upon us, Yash Allah, upon the remnant of, of Yash Allah that shall be saved, okay? There's a remnant that the Lord have, have, have promised that he's gonna be saved, okay? And that's who the Lord gonna send his own begotten sons, Yahweh Shai, to save, right? I think, let's go to Romans, I think, Romans. Uh, 11, I think Romans 11, I think, Romans chapter 11 verse 26. So all Israel shall be saved as is written. They shall come out of Zion a deliverer and shall turn away and righteousness from Jacob. For this is the covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins. See, the Lord going to take our, our sins away. The Lord, eh, it's my covenant. The Lord make a covenant with us unto, uh, to Yash Allah when I shall take away their sins. See, the Lord going to forgive all our sins and all our iniquities, man. 
That's exactly what we should do. That will forgive our, all our sins, all, all our iniquities. And Yahweh Shamashiach is the one that was given power to, to forgive all our sins and all our iniquities, right? Let's go to Ephesians 1 and 7. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7, in whom we have redemption to his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Yahweh Shamashiach is, a, is the, this whom the Lord has sent it to, to give us redemption to his blood and the forgiveness of our sins according to the riches of his grace. See? That's exactly it. That's the grace that the Lord have, have, have put. That's the mercy and grace that the Lord have for Yahshua, for Israel, for his so-called black Latinos American, okay? That is a sin of his begotten son, Yahweh Shamashiach, to die for our sins, to get unto us repent, a repent, redemption, right? That, like he said in Galatians uh, 4 and 4. Galatians 4, verse 4. For when the fullness of time, of the time was come, God, the Mosai Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, sent forth his son, made of a woman, under the law, to redeem the, them that was under the law, that we might receive the additional sins. And because we are sons, God have sent forth the spirit of his son unto, unto our heart, crying, Abba, Father, whom do no more his servants, but his son, if his son, then heir of God to Amashiach Yahushai. See? That the Lord, the, the, our, see, made under the Lord to redeem them that was under the law. We don't that was under the law. We don't that going to receive redemption for our sins, okay? We don't not gonna be saved for our sins at the end of the day, okay? And that's what the, that's what, that, to that that the, our power Yahweh Hashem Yahushua gonna forgive our sins and all our iniquities, man. And let's get on. Um, let's go to uh, Acts uh, five and twenty nine. Acts chapter 5 verse 29 then Peter and the other apostles answered and said we are to obey God we are to obey to Mosai Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua rather than men the God of our fathers raise up Yahushua Mashiach whom he slew and hang on the tree him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgive our sins Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushua have raised up Yahushua to forgive our sins and forgiveness it give us repentance to israel and forgive our sins to forgive all our sins and blood all our iniquities for our for we are his witnesses of those things and so is also the holy spirit whom god have given to them that obey him you see to the lord is to them that obey him those that obey him that the lord who the lord give the holy spirit to that's what the lord gonna call that's what the lord gonna forgive at the end of the day okay that's what this the forget our sins about that when the lord bring all uh, us in our land those that have repent, those that have come back, those that obey Yahweh power by Hashem Yahusha, it will gonna forgive all our sins and all our iniquities. Let's go to Acts uh, Acts 10 43. Acts 10 verse 43 to him give all the prophets witness that to his name. Whosoever believe in him shall receive remission of sins. If we believe in Yahweh Shamashiach, our power Yahweh gonna forgive our sins and all our iniquities, right? Okay? That's exactly what's going on here. Okay? Those in all Yashala, those that scatters out of the four corners of the earth, and those that's in Gentile state of mind. To Yahweh Power Bashem Yahshua gonna put the Holy Spirit on us to ask forgiveness and confess all our iniquities and all our trespasses, man. And the Lord gonna forgive us, and with that, Yasha Allah, I'm gonna close this lesson. I hope you are edified. I'm gonna give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Yokakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us will well and wool will well to the Yakakodash and salutation to you, Akiam, that's in Howes and Bowes doing this work in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, and much respect unto the elect and to a full elect. Sons and daughters of Yashallah that step into the way of righteousness in the name of Yahweh, Yahushua Mashiach, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom.